Alright everybody, so let's see, at this point we have imported our parts. Uh, we've seen how we can import other parts, rather doing it from our document. For those of you who don't have access to the folder, the shared folder, or we are just doing it from the, the shared drive, um, from the shared library. So what we need to do here is we need to start importing a bunch of parts and we're going to fasten them together. together. We're going to kind of lock these together so they kind of uh, sit in place and they kind of model our full design. We are, so let's see, let's look back. Uh, I have a nine hole U channel here. If you're doing the V3, you'd be having a 10 hole U channel. It really depends on the assembly instructions. So I'm gonna do this in here. Um, so, okay, so what level of detail do we want? At this point, we really don't need to do screw lengths in here. I'm not actually gonna put any screws in here. We can just fix these two parts together based on some of their geometry. We don't need to actually like put in screws into here. Uh, we're just gonna say these two parts should be fit together. Uh, I think we'll do their fitting at this angle uh, and we can get them to mesh perfectly. Uh, but So we don't necessarily need to add in screws in here. Uh, we will add in some things. I think the things we'll probably skip out on are, um, I mean, I think at our level, we probably don't need to include shims in here. Uh, those are some of the things, like especially when we build the motors, uh, well, actually, in the V2, it's a little bit easier, but in the V3, there's some really specific kind of things we need to place. Uh, we'll try and get as accurate as we can, but let's see, you should put in like hole reducers if you're doing V3. You should be putting in thrust bearings. You should be putting in all that stuff. Uh, but as far as like shims go, individual shims, I don't think we need to go to quite that level. Uh, so like in here, I don't know if we're going to see. So like in here, we're going to add a shim. If we have this little shaft in the V2, I don't think we really need to put the shim in here. Um, that is a functional part to make sure that our parts don't kind of... Uh, bind up on each other, but it's not really something that we need to include in this design. So we're gonna skip that for now. Um, but yeah, so no screws, no shims, but I think otherwise we should probably should probably include everything. Uh, no screws, no shims. So you can check in with me if there's something, oh, do I need to add this or not? Check in with me and I'll let you know. All right, so getting into fastens, uh, we are going to start with this. I'm gonna start with some uh, the dual blocks here. So okay, uh, well, let's first insert a dual block now. Uh, let's go in here, where are we at in here? We're gonna do insert, other parts, dual block. I think I already had this in there. All right, so we're gonna hit okay to insert that. And then what we're gonna do, we have a whole, so that's what Onshape is all about, is like how do we, we import parts and then how do we fix them together? And there's a whole bunch of different ways that we can actually get these to be fit together. Uh, we might get into a little bit later on doing like a, a Revolute mate or some of these other mates. Um, the main one that we're gonna use for a fat, for uh, to mate two, for, to make two things together is we're going to use the fastened mate. So if we look at this design, I want to get this thing in here. So I have my design in here and I can rotate around. If you don't know how to do this, we can, um, well, I use my right finger, right click to, uh, to rotate around here. And I can use my, I'm using my mouse, so I can use my mouse wheel to kind of zoom in and out. But what I want to do is I'm going to fasten this piece right to here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the fasten mate, and then I'm going to select two things that are going to fit together. Um, if we scroll in on this dual block, there's a whole bunch of different parts, a whole bunch of different geometries that we can select in here, all the different little screw threads in here. What I really want to do is I want to find what two parts on these things have to meet in order for these part, in order for these two things to fit together just right. Let's see in here, and I want to make sure, I don't know if V3 people, you might not, might not know this, V2 people, you might not remember this, um, but Where's this thing at? Over here. This thing like reversed. Um, okay, wanna look here? There's actually, when we look at the dual block mount, if we look at it from the top, it's actually, this side is a little bit longer than this side. So we need to mount this so that the thicker, the longer, this kind of hole is not centered in the piece. We wanna make sure that the longer side is kind of touching the U channel and with the shorter side uh, not touching. So when I look into this piece, what I wanna do is, um, do I have fast enough? Okay. Um, I want to put this thing right there, and you have to do a little bit of spatial thinking here. That little part really needs to fit onto right here, this thread hole. So uh, we're going to go into here. We're going to select fasten mate. We're going to select. There's a lot of geometry we could select here. I just want to select the outside of this circle. So you should maybe you might even not get the whole circle, just the majority of the circle like that. I want to click this. And then I'm going to say, what do I want to fasten it to? I want to fasten it to right here. If I do that correctly, my pieces should fit directly together. Now you might see that they are not exactly in alignment. Uh, we can use this button to orient around a secondary axis and we should be able to get those in here. Well, it doesn't look 
That looks close, but not, oh, look at that. You see, it's not quite lined up right. Let me try that again. I'm gonna undo my fasten here. Um, there's a couple different ways I can do this. Let's see, let's see this. Um, let me try again here, the, the thicker part. I think I selected the right, I must have not have selected the right part on the, on the U-channel itself. Really zoom in here, click that. Yeah, there we go. I could tell before because it wasn't quite flush. This thing should be really flush. And then when I look through here, I should be able to see these two holes really lined up, right? And that's perfectly lined up there. Uh, okay, so that's how we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, and so that's basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna assemble our parts like this to one by one, put the pieces on here and build a robot from the ground up. So we hit solve, and that's really the very first part that we're gonna do. Uh, let's see, we can also, if we want to get one of these parts, uh, I think if we select our part, we can copy and paste these. So let's see if I think I take this. I don't want both. I just want this one. I think I should have just copy and paste that. And then I can do the fasten mate on here. I'm sure you guys are going to come up with a bunch of different speedy ways to make this a little bit quicker. That's fine. I just want to make sure everything is fastened together. I'm really going to look through these fastens here to make sure that everything is put on correctly. Let's see if we can put these two. Did I do that right? Oh, not quite. So in that case, in this one, I think it, it tried to marry them, tried to fasten them like, like through the metal. I don't know how that was going to work. So we can use this to flip the primary axis to basically say, don't fix from that side, fix from the other side. And then I should be able to revolve this around and get these two to be lined up as well. Okay, so I have another one in there. So this will take a little bit of time. Uh, you get faster as you go. That's kind of part of the process. Um, and yeah, so let's hit exit on that. We need to add a couple more in here. And let me just do one more. And then we can, let's see what else we got in here. So it's going to be always going to be this thicker part. I'm going to select fasten. I'm going to select this here. Let's see for this one. I think this has to go. You can probably stop the video now at this point, but let's see if that fit. Looks pretty good. Let's see if we flip axis. Is that going to solve things? That looks good there. And we can zoom out. We can select this. Uh, let's select this other part. We are going to do fastens. We are going to choose. Uh, let's see, I think I need to choose this side. I can kind of visualize what side I need to use. Zoom around here. And we're going to add that on there like that. Oh, didn't quite get that one right. Um, let's exit that. There might be a quicker way of removing these, but I'm just going to go with this. So I should have been the bottom part. I might have been able to like move that one down a little bit, but uh, did I grab the right part this time? Um, okay. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna stop there. Um, just gonna try to do this too, a little bit too quickly. Um, but yeah, we'll have this first piece and we'll just have to replace this into, yeah, we're gonna have to just kind of build this part by part.